In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to Serum's Wavetable Editor. To go into the Wavetable Editor, you need to hit this tiny pencil button. First of all, the most important part here is this section along the bottom. This basically shows you the Wavetable, which cycle you're currently editing in the Wavetable. And also, very importantly, the cycle number. Notice along the bottom, cycles one, two, three, four, five, which you can now see in this 3D view. And the corresponding number in the bottom right corner. To show you why this number is important, if I click morph, notice how now the numbers have changed as Morph takes discrete cycles and builds it into a complete 256 cycle wavetable. Again, notice the number in the bottom right corner. So you need to always know where you are in the wavetable and what exactly you're editing. I could undo this with the undo button. Maybe add in a new cycle, or alternatively using this button, and reduce or remove cycles using one of these buttons, or possibly using this add remove drop down, remove current index to remove that cycle. Noting you can do things like Say copy cycle seven and paste it in cycle five and then hold shift, select cycles five to seven and remove all except selected. Single applies processing to single cycles such as normalize. or flip vertical, whereas process applies these things to the entire wavetable. Again, keep your eyes on the cycles along the bottom there. As I showed you, morph creates intermediate cycles called interpolated cycles. Again, watch the numbers. Sort changes the order. And you also have import and export options. 